As the world prepares to mark Earth Day tomorrow, all week, the KDK First Alert Weather Team has been highlighting KDK's commitment to covering the Earth 365 days a year. And now in the final part of our series, we head north to Lake Erie, the 12th largest freshwater lake in the world. Over time, the changing climate has taken a toll on it. KDK meteorologist Felicia Woody traveled there to see how the changes over the last few decades are impacting not only our weather, but also the lake's fishing industry. It may be the shallowest of the five Great Lakes, but Lake Erie makes one of the biggest impacts on western Pennsylvania's weather and climate every single day. With nothing but water in between two countries, the weather can quickly change over those 26 miles. In Erie, they say if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes because the weather coming over the water uh, really changes in dramatic fashion. Lake Erie being the shallowest lake actually can have some of the fastest changes. Brian Morosca works at the Great Lakes Environmental Research Laboratory and he says these harsh weather events are getting more intense. The heat events are getting more frequent, they're getting longer, the Arctic events are getting less frequent and they're getting shorter. Including the lake effect snow. The biggest change is that the lake effect events are actually becoming less frequent, but when they occur, they're more severe. We're getting less ice cover on the lake. And these changes are being noticed firsthand by local fishermen. Even though we don't have to shovel as much, the, the fish eggs uh, seem to be more viable when they have long periods of ice cover on the lake. Since 1998, Lake Erie has been noticing a steadier decline in ice cover or at least longer periods of time without any ice, which will continue to cause issues with beach erosion and coastal flooding. You get a little bit of ice cover along the shore, but nothing where you'd go where it'd be thick enough to walk, you know, the 26 miles over to the other country. Lake Erie is one of the easiest lakes to, to get ice on because it's so shallow and to have extended periods, especially at the end of the winter without any ice, yeah, that, that doesn't happen very often. And with the lake's warming temperatures, more algae blooms have been occurring, which hurts the fishing industry. The algae will uh, eventually die, choke off the oxygen for the fish. So that's something that we have to monitor. And climate change is going to cause more frequent extreme precipitation events. That means more runoff, means better conditions for those algal blooms during the summer months. And given everything that's happening, our area is preparing for what's to come. Basically what we do, what we try to do is prepare for the unexpected. With the changing climate causing issues for the fish population and less ice cover on the lake, Lake Erie has had its fair share of challenges, but it will continue to power through for the impending future. Reporting from Lake Erie, I'm Felicia Woody for KDK TV News. And if you missed any of our special Earth 365 stories this week, we're putting them all together for you in a half hour streaming special tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on CBS News Pittsburgh. That's followed by a half an hour on the dot streaming special as host David Schechter searches for the country for the latest signs of climate change and how communities are responding to that. So join us tomorrow as we celebrate Earth Day and find more Earth Day content at any time at KDKA.com.